Doctors are warning this year's flu season is looking particularly bad and urging parents to vaccinate children and babies over six months of age. But is the flu vaccine safe for everyone? Today reporter Lauren Ellis has more. It's having my car. I just had this overwhelming feeling of I want to protect him. This gorgeous boy is the light of mum and dad's eyes. So when Matt fell ill last week, deciding whether to get the flu shot was simple. Although I've never had one before, um, but I've decided because of Mike, I'm going to do it this year. You get injected with three different flu viruses that they think are the ones that are likely to be around next year. According to the World Health Organization, approximately 2,500 Australians die from influenza each year. And it costs the Australian healthcare system more than 85 million. Scientist Dr. Jenny McKim Breshkin helped design the first flu drug, Relenza. So they jab you with those. You make things in your body called antibodies. Those antibodies circulate in your blood for many months. So if you then get exposed to one of those three viruses, you've got antibodies to fight them off. There are three different flu vaccines, but only two are safe for young children. In 2010, after being injected with flu vax, 23 children suffered convulsions and were admitted to hospital. Since then, the vaccine has been banned for children under five, and some parents have lost confidence. When I looked into the flu vaccine, it wasn't proven to be 100% safe. Renee's four children have never been immunised, never caught the flu. I made a choice that I was going to do the best that I could do to build up their immune systems through whole foods, active exercise and having a loving, caring environment at home. They've also never had antibiotics, but have caught a cold. We want to actually invite those kinds of sicknesses into the body because that's the body's natural way of boosting its defences. With 1.5 million workdays lost annually, thousands of workplaces now offer the vaccine for free. Last year we had about just over 2,500 staff take up the option. It takes two weeks to be effective and lasts up to one year. But getting the shot isn't a silver bullet in the fight against influenza. There's still a chance you can catch the flu, but it's likely to be a much milder case and it reduces the risk of serious illness or hospitalisation by 50 to 80 per cent. CSIRO is busy designing a new antiviral drug that can even fight resistant strains of the flu during an epidemic. You should have less symptoms, so your symptoms should get better quicker. It should work against every strain of flu. It might not be the right choice for everyone. I think what we do is we cheat a little bit and we, look, we listen too much to the doctors. But most medical experts agree. Getting the vaccination Oops. could save your life and the people you love. If I can protect him with the flu shot in the future, then it's something I would definitely consider.